hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a super chill one today we are going to be doing an empties video i haven't done one of these in a while so i figured i would sit down and film one because my bin riot over here is already packed with goodies that i've gone through for the last couple of months i believe it's been a couple of months since i've done one of these so it's gotten pretty full and i just love doing these videos because i feel like you guys really get a sense as to which products i'm religious about and so on which products i keep repurchasing and you just get a sense of which products are my favorites and my go-to so yeah that's what i have for you guys in this video but before we get started don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel i just hit this morning 700 subscribers which I am so 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 excited about because I was thinking about it and this time around this time last year I actually got the news that I got a full-time job I was actually employed around this time last year and I got the news that I got the job that I really wanted um, as a full-time job for the time being of course but I'm so happy with my job right now and just seeing where I was back then to where I am now I've come a full 180 to where I was at and not only that but I also remember like being like super sad and like almost crying because I had just hit 200 subscribers and I didn't want to stop making videos I love it way too much and I, I was kind of sad that I wasn't gonna have enough time to keep filming videos and keep making videos for my channel but now being here one year later and seeing that I haven't given up because I don't want to give up I love making videos way too much and this is my creative outlet this is where I really get to have fun in what I'm doing and I love making videos way too much to give up I told my husband I don't want to give up on this I've come way too far I I'm gonna insert some clips of my very first videos here on my channel I used to do paintings when I first started so I've come a long way and now I am in love with a whole new genre of video and makeup and beauty and so many things that I want to explore in this channel and I've come a long way I know 700 is not a big number when it comes to YouTube but for me personally this is far this is for me this is I feel like come I've come a long way and there's been a lot of days where you do want to give up and doing YouTube is stressful with editing and not knowing how to like position your lights and your camera and sometimes technology fails and you lose a video <laughs> your computer freezes you don't have enough disk space to um, to save all of your footage and so many things that go wrong when it comes to making a video so I'm just proud of myself that I've kept pushing and that I've been stubborn <laughs> and enough to keep making videos for my YouTube channel and I will keep pushing on this is something that I don't want to give up on regardless of numbers regardless of whatever I do want to still keep making videos I love what I'm doing I I love the feeling of whenever a new look is finished I love feeling proud of myself and what I create and what I'm learning I love learning about products and things like that so definitely I am super inspired to bring on 2019 and come that new year bring you way more cooler videos and just keep learning and keep growing with you guys and just thank you so much for being here for spending some of your time right here on my channel and let's just keep moving forward I am super excited about that that my friends was a long ramble i've never rented so much right here on my channel but without further ado if you want to see what my empties bin holds and what some of my favorite products in here are then please stay on and keep on watching <laughs> all right guys so let's get started if you're still here after that rent then you're one of the good ones i really appreciate you all right so the very first a product or products that I'm gonna be talking about in this empties video is actually I'm gonna be talking about one two three four different 
products actually five different products because these are all of the setting sprays that i've gone through in the last couple of months and i'm gonna be talking about each and every one of them so the very first one is of course the morphe setting spray this i love number one it's super affordable and number two it just melts the makeup in a way that i've never seen before or that i've never noticed in my skin before it's made it look super glowy and this is the very first setting spray that i experienced this with and even when i look back at past videos and i see my skin the videos where i see myself having the best makeup days is when i've used this setting spray it just leaves your skin feeling super glowy and it just again it just melts the makeup in place and then it also helps that the spritzer in here it's like an aerosol spray so it will just cover your entire skin it feels super super nice on the skin and again it just gives your your makeup a finish that's super super beautiful I really really love this and again you can also use it for brushes whenever you're dabbing into shimmers and things like that to get that extra pigment out of those shimmers and that extra potency out of them it also works for that I've already repurchased it and I've been traveling a little bit back home for the holidays and this has come with me because I really love it and I I really do see the difference that it makes when it comes to the makeup and if you do like that glowy that dewy finish to your skin this is a great one another spray that i really loved was the tarte ready set radiant skin mist this one right here and this one i got in a boxy charm box back in the summer i believe and this one has a beautiful like cucumbery minty smell and feel on the skin which i really really loved this one is on the pricier side it's around like 20 to 24 i believe it's like in that range but it's an absolutely beautiful skin mist when I when it comes to like skin mists or versus setting sprays I believe skin mists are meant to refresh the skin and they're not tailored towards longevity and makeup I use skin mists before makeup like prepping the skin I will just drench my skin with a skin mist and then go in with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, moisturizer then use like some eye creams to really prep the skin for makeup and then once the makeup has been worn for a couple of hours I will re-spray my face with some skin mists take my beauty blender or my um, real technique sponge Redap my skin and it'll make your makeup look brand new again so that's how I've been using skin mists but when it comes to going out and whenever I want my makeup to stay put then I switch over to setting sprays and to the following setting sprays that I'm gonna be talking about because I know that these I can trust for that longevity and makeup if that makes sense so this skin mist in particular was super helpful in that and just going over when I was in my lunch break at work when I've already been been wearing makeup for like four to five hours I would just blot number one to get rid of that excess oil in my skin and then go in with this one and then just dab it into my skin once again with my sponge and it would just refresh and bring new life to my makeup look and just make it feel brand new again so this one this one was super great for that another setting spray that was really great for that and of course it's a classic it's the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This one right here is, once again, both of these are around the same price, um, but this one, this one is, of course has a different smell if you, that's something that you look for in a setting spray. And this one does both. This one you can use to prep the skin before makeup, and you can also use it to set the skin after you, you're already done with, your, with everything in your makeup look. You can use it at the end, and it just sets your makeup in place and makes it last longer. I really, really like it just to set the makeup in place and I do see a difference in the longevity of makeup when using this one. And like with any skin mist or setting spray, regardless if it's one or the other, remember that you can also use them on your brushes when you're applying highlighter. You can spritz the brush a couple of times and then just go over with 
highlight for that extra pop of highlight if you're into that or when of course you're using metallic or shimmer eyeshadows you can spritz your brush go into the eyeshadow and then apply it all over the lid like I did today and it will just make it pop even more and the final setting spray that I have in my empties is actually two of my Milani make it last setting spray this has been one of my favorites for years now for two years now I've used it now for two summers in a row I already have one right here almost done too and it just makes it it does a beautiful job once again at setting the makeup in place when you spritz it on your skin it has a very perfumey smell to, this one does kind of like the fix plus does but when you spritz it all over your skin you really do feel it kind of like stretching the skin and really setting it in place the only thing that i don't like about these is the spritzer you never know what you're gonna get sometimes it's a really good spritzer other times it's too aggressive sometimes you'll get the spritzer that like spritz like this you never it really does suck <laughs> like the spritzer in here it's it's not it's it's bad <laughs> but the one thing that i do like about it it's how affordable it is it's around eight dollars so it's pretty affordable you can find it at walmart and it's really really gonna help you set that makeup in place i use it mostly in the summer when i don't want my makeup to melt off of my face i use this one and it's been with me for a long time now i love this one and that's a really good look at which setting sprays and setting mists i've gone through the entire year this is where i've stayed um probably in the new year i will venture out to new ones i do have some in mind that i want to try but for these these have been my ride or die for the entire year just so that you get a sense of my favorites now the next product in my empties bin is of course a pack of my neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes i've been doing way more makeup of course with the start of my youtube channel and things like that so these have been with me right here on my desk for the entire year and they've just been great for removing swatches for cleaning up my makeup afterwards now if there was a time where i was doing more than one look in a day and i would clean out my makeup once and then have to remove a second look it can get a little bit too aggressive if you're obviously like scratching and like um really like scrubbing your skin to get rid of that makeup they can get a little bit irritating around the eye especially around the eye area but again that's just me using these more than once in a day they've never failed me they do a wonderful job at cleaning but overall they've never failed me they're my ride or die and they've stuck with me for a really 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 long time another product that's been with me from the very beginning in my channel is the l'oreal infallible pro glow foundation i am in the shade 203 and this foundation i love it so so much and every time i switch to a new foundation and then come back to this one i always think this is why i love this foundation it's just a beautiful full coverage and it just leaves the skin looking super glowy and flawless and it just covers up everything but it still leaves your skin feeling super natural you don't feel like you're wearing a ton of makeup but yet you your skin looks flawless because of that coverage so i love this foundation so much again it's been with me since i started my channel and then i switch back to another one and then i come back to this one and i love it it's around 11 dollars at the drugstore and it says it's a radiant finish for normal to dry skin which is really surprising to me because I, my skin is oily and it's very acne prone so for me to love a foundation that is so glowy or that it claims to be so glowy like this one and for me to actually like that glowiness on my skin was super surprising super shocking but i'm obsessed with this foundation and i just keep uh, i keep purchasing it over and over again and i can't let it go i'll wear it even in the summer i i feel like my taste has in makeup has changed so much because at first when my skin was super oily i felt like i needed to do anything and everything to really mattify my skin Skin, but now I feel like I don't use powder as much and I, I'm okay with a glowier feel so I feel like my taste and makeup has changed so much since I started so this foundation has been with me it's never failed me and I, I, I really do love it and recommend it so much 
which is kind of a nice segue to my next product because my next ride or die product in my empties bin is my Cody Airspun. I ran out of this one and it's just been a favorite of mine for a long time. Ever since I saw Patrick Star using it on his YouTube channel, I figured I need this in my life. And the reason that I purchased it was because again, I saw Patrick Star using it and I saw that he kept talking about using this for like oily skin he said he had oily skin so I was like I have oily skin too I'm gonna pack it on just like he does <laughs> and I used to do that at the very beginning but then I noticed that this powder can be a little bit too heavy on me and it started getting super like cakey and it would like separate throughout the day and then I learned that I was using way too much so when it comes to this powder less is more if you are someone who is not that oily and doesn't need that much powder then go easy with this one but of course if you're doing more dramatic makeup you can allow yourself to add a little bit more that way your makeup wears longer now when after you use this powder really make sure to go in with a nice setting spray that way it just melts into the skin and it sets everything in place now of course i've already repurchased it it's super affordable it's around five dollars at the drugstore one thing that might be a downside is of course we all know it's classic smell some people love it some people don't like it i don't mind it i've never been someone who gets like super easily offended when it comes to smells in makeup so i really don't mind it and it's been with me forever i already have a backup and it's gonna stay with me for a while longer because it's just done a beautiful job at setting my makeup in place number one and the finish is it's just flawless underneath the eyes i use it to bake around the sides of my nose for my nose contour my forehead my chin and it just does a beautiful job i love it <laughs> something else that i have right here on my empties bin it's this uh fragrance mist it's like a body spray and it's the body Ecology cherry blossom fragrance mist and it's in the shade it's in the smell of cherish the moment scent it's this guy right here and i get it at walmart for a little for like four dollars and it's my favorite smell <laughs> in the whole world this is like my secret weapon when i want to smell really good when i use it before going to the gym i use it before going to bed and i love it my husband loves it and this is like my guilty pleasure i love getting this so much i get the entire like set you know with like the shower gel the loofah and everything else i love this this is awesome and again you can get you can get it at walmart for like four bucks and i love this smell so much if you want to know my favorite scent in the whole world it's this guy right here and i i always repurchase this i just thought it would be really funny to include it in here because i really wish there was like a feature where you could smell what i'm smelling you know so that so that i could show you but for now believe me when i tell you this smell is so amazingly beautiful it's like a powdery not overly obnoxious floral smell but it's super soft and powdery and feminine i just i love this so much something else that i have on my empties bin and of course i touched on this a little bit earlier it's my hydro boost gel cream for extra dry skin with hyaluronic acid by neutrogena it's this guy right here i've been using this moisturizer all year long now and it's helped my skin so so much i feel like my skin has taken a turn for the better ever since i started using this ever since i heard someone say that it is highly recommended for people with oily skin to use water-based moisturizers or gel-based moisturizers i i did the switch and now i use this one for the daytime i use this in the morning pre-makeup i will i won't use this one at night at night i use heavier moisturizers that will just sink into the skin overnight and that they have more of anti-wrinkle properties anti-aging properties in the morning i just want something that's gonna bring moisture into my skin before makeup so that's why i will use this one in the morning and again it's just transformed my skin it's gotten rid of acne i my cousin actually told me that she uses this one and she's also said that it's gotten rid of her acne as well and i don't believe that this is what clears acne by itself but i feel like it just moisturizes the skin in such a way that your skin's 
stops producing so much oil that causes acne if that makes sense i'm not an expert in any of that in skincare i'm not that knowledgeable in all of that but i believe that the more often you moisturize the skin the less oil your skin produces because your skin when your skin feels like it's not producing enough oils to stay moisturized that's when it's kind of, it kind of like tries to keep up so it starts producing those oils that causes that oiliness so when you give your skin that moisturization that it needs it stops doing that so much that your skin is not it's not as oily as it used to be if that makes sense again i'm not an expert <laughs> but i do see See how this has changed my skin and the hyaluronic acid in here it just makes your skin feel super plump and the texture in here that gel texture in this moisturizer it feels so nice early in the morning when you wash your face and then you apply this moisturizer you just feel like refreshed and it kind of like wakes you up a little bit I love this moisturizer so much I already have a backup right here and I will keep repurchasing it over and over again other products in my empties bin are two concealers. I have um, the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. It's this guy right here. And this one is, it's really good. I really, really liked it. It's a very dewy concealer, but it's high coverage. And I really liked that it's not overly matte. The thing that I have with Shape Tape, for instance, which I know everyone loves, but I didn't necessarily enjoy it that much because I did find Find it to be a little bit too drying for me but this one is dewy and it does have that high coverage that I wanted and I really enjoyed using this one it didn't give me any problems it didn't crease or anything and I really enjoyed it I also have in my empty spin the Maybelline instant age rewind um, treatment concealer it's this guy right here I love this one this one is a classic everyone loves it I do get kind of like icky about its applicator because it's that little sponge right there which I feel like kind of like grabs a lot of bacteria because you're reusing it but I don't mind it because I feel like it's just a beautiful concealer it's not super dewy and it's not super matte it's just that perfect texture where it's just it just covers up everything and it's just a beautiful like velvety almost texture to your under eyes and it's super affordable too so I'd rather keep repurchasing this one because it's super affordable and it does the job wonderfully and I feel like like the drugstore overall is a great place for concealers and I just feel like there is no need to overspend on concealers because again the drugstore has wonderful options and speaking of drugstore it is also a wonderful place to find the best brow pencil in the world in my opinion it is the NYX micro brow pencil in the shade espresso that's my shade and I have two of them right here and I am already using my third one and I love this brow pencil this one has changed my brow routine for the better. I used to use pomades. I used to use this one from Benefit, the Cabrow um, Benefit Brow Pomade, but I felt that in looking back at pictures and selfies, I saw how my brows were way too thick and way too dramatic. So then I started doing, um, trying out pencils and I got the ABH um, brow pencil, which worked great, but the price tag did hurt. So then I found this one. I saw someone recommend this one. I got it at the drugstore and I've been hooked ever since. It's super affordable so I am now using this one and I really do believe that this is a dupe for the Anastasia pencil. So if you like the Anastasia pencil, try this one and I bet you you're gonna love it just as much. The tip in here, it's super fine so you are able to do those hair-like strokes super effortlessly and I am able to do my brows in a flash because in the morning I don't have a lot of time to get ready so it just it just made my brow routine go by faster and it's super super easy again it's super affordable and my only beef is that this is always sold out at my local walmart so i have to like keep stocking that area and if i do see it i grab whatever's in there i grab it because i know that it runs out so out of stock super quick either that or i will look for it at my local ulta or i will just jump around until i find it because it does go out of stock fairly quickly another beef that i have with this pencil is that you don't get a lot of product in here so you will run out of this one pretty fast 
especially if you're someone who does makeup on the regular like I do I do my makeup almost every single day so I run out of this super fast and I have to constantly be buying it or have backup so that's my second beef with it but overall it's an amazing brow pencil if you haven't tried it check it out I'm sure it's gonna do wonderful things for your brows like it changed mine for the better next in my bin of empties we're almost there guys we're almost to the finish line we have three different mascaras that I absolutely love the very first one it's been with me since high school that's how much I love it it is the Rimmel London scandal eyes curve alert mascara it's this guy right here it also comes I'm sure you've seen it around in the drugstore it's it also comes in like a lime green packaging it comes a lot a lot of different colors actually but this mascara has been with me again since I was a teen <laughs> in high school I love it so so much it's super easy to apply the wand in here is a little bit chubby so if you are someone who like stabs your eye or isn't very like precise with your lashes you are gonna like poke around with this one because the, the wand is super thick but it just makes my lashes look super bold and super big and I love this mascara so much you can go overboard with it super easily so I will say that that it doesn't allow for a lot of buildup because you're you're gonna get those clumps really quick so it the less is more when it comes to this mascara but it just does a beautiful job on making your lashes because that is how I like to wear them it just makes your lashes look super big and voluminous and I really really liked it I was that girl in high school that my lashes looked like spiders until I discovered false eyelashes <laughs> like I'm wearing today but I used to be that girl who wore her lashes like people would tell me that they looked like spiders in my eyes I used to believe that the chunkier the lashes the better I use less mascara now but it's still this one still has stayed with me I love this one so much and it's super affordable whenever I see it at like TJ Maxx or Burlington I see it for like $3.99 I stuck up because I know it's gonna work whatever variation it is again it comes in a lot of different packaging but it's the same one and I I love it the scandal eyes mascara by Rimmel London I it's always been with me Another mascara that I fell in love with this year was the NYX Worth the Hype mascara. It's this guy right here and I believe I got this in a influencer box and I love this mascara a lot. Again, it does a wonderful job at just making your lashes look really full and really quick. So I love that look and I always look for mascaras that are able to do that. So this one's another great option and again, it's super affordable at the drugstore. Now, I was really surprised by this next mascara mascara because it does the opposite as these two on days where I was doing more natural makeup more less is more kind of makeup less is more kind of makeup I went in with the Wander Beauty Unlashed volume and curl mascara it's this guy right here and this one is the opposite of those two well those mascaras really give your lashes that bold look this one will elongate more so if you're someone who's looking for lashes that are really separated and really kind of like wispy and like full and long this is what this mascara will do I loved it it is on the pricier side though it's around $20 and I honestly don't see myself spending that kind of money for a mascara because I do have go-to's and favorites at the drugstore that are way more affordable than this one and they work perfectly fine they worked great instead of spending that kind of money on a mascara that will do just as great as those more affordable options so yeah I really loved this one though if you were taking a look at this one and you want to try it definitely do it will do a beautiful job at elongating those lashes another random goodie that I have in my empties bin is this Tarte Park Avenue Princess Amazonian clay waterproof bronzer it's this guy right here and I got it on an Ipsy bag I actually got it on one of my very last ipsy bags as you guys know I canceled my ipsy this year I just wasn't very like thrilled or into the products that I was receiving so I canceled it but one of my favorites that I ever got from Ipsy was actually this bronzer I loved it so so much I used every last bit in here I when I was getting to like the last bit of it I would just like swirl my brush in there and use it on my on my crease and use it as eyeshadow but I just love this bronzer because it was like a it was the perfect 
cool tone and it was the perfect shade for me and I loved it and I really want to purchase the big palette that they have. Number one, the packaging on that is absolutely stunning. It's one of the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen on makeup. And number two, again, the bronzer is wonderful. It blended so easily and I loved it. I fell in love with it and I really want to buy that palette. And now moving on to our last three, we're on the last stretch of this empties video and I have two makeup removing balms right here. I have one that it's the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm and it was made exclusively for BoxyCharm. <laughs> I've seen this one around in Sephora. It's popped up a couple of times on my Instagram feed and it worked really great. It has a beautiful like like minty smell to it which is really nice i really liked it and before these two makeup removing balms i i had actually never used makeup removing balms i had heard of them i had heard of the clinique one but i had never tried them number one my very first thought was how can you remove your makeup like really well with these and not get it in your eyes if you get it in your eyes is it gonna hurt like shampoo does in your eyes is it gonna hurt but i didn't find that to be the case it, either of these two the other one that i have right here is the pond uh, cold cream cleansing balm it's this guy right here and i got this one in an influencer box and i got this one in a boxy charm box and both of these worked wonderful this one is just a cleansing balm to remove makeup whereas this one it's also a cleanser so this one will go in both of these will go in like a balm and then they will dissolve into like an oil that you can start spreading around your face and it just melts the makeup away but when this one when it comes in contact with water when you splash water on your face and you start scrubbing when you keep scrubbing it will transform into a cleanser so it will start to foam up and it just clean your face as well whereas this one it stays as a cleansing balm and it doesn't foam up as much as this one does so this one is a great first step to your skincare routine but i wouldn't trust this one as a cleanser by itself if that makes sense i used it as a first step to my skincare routine and then i followed up with it with another gentle cleanser i didn't use a harsh cleanser because i didn't want to overly dry my skin but it worked really great and the smell of this one just took me back to to my earlier years to my very first moisturizers it reminded me so much of the very first moisturizers that my mom started to buy me when i was like 18 or 19 when i was in high school and it just took me back and this is a more affordable option to this one i believe this one is around 10 dollars at target whereas this one is around 22 dollars at sephora so either one of these options if you are into makeup removing balms if you want to try it out first you can go with this one if you want to try something else more bougie or something from Sephora you can go with these ones but both of these will do a wonderful job at really taking off your makeup but something that I will say is that you go through these super quick I don't know what it is maybe it was just me but I just felt that uh, you needed to use a lot of product or I did like two scoops of these to really get my entire face and to really get rid of the makeup so you do go through the these um, balms fairly quick so I will make note of that and then another thing that I was kind of like iffy about about makeup removing balms is the fact that, that it's not I don't know if it's like a psychological thing but I just don't feel like they're super hygienic because you dab in your finger in there you put it around in your skin where your makeup is and then you dip in twice so you're double dipping on these ones so I don't know how clean that is but it might just be me but I that's why before these I would always just be super religious about my makeup removing wipes and even now having tried these I feel like I am gonna stay with my makeup removing wipes because it's just easier it's cleaner too so if I were given the choice between wipes and balms I would just stick to my wipes but if you are someone who loves the balms definitely you have two great options in here and the very last product in my empties bin it's this Murad Murad, Murad, 
uh, <laughs> Revital Elixir Recovery Serum. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry if I butchered it. I usually do butcher my English, but <laughs> I know you guys love me for that. But anywho, this is the Murad Revital Elixir Recovery Serum. And I got this one once again in an influencer box and I tried it out and I loved <laughs> this serum. I loved it so much and I'm kind of like scared to want to repurchase it again because it is a little bit pricey. It's around 50 to 60 dollars so I'm kind of like scared to repurchase it but I know if I make puppy eyes to my husband he might repurchase it for me. I know you're watching honey but <laughs> it was just a wonderful serum. I loved it so much. When you pump it out from in here it's like a holographic pink purple. It's really beautiful. Um, their packaging is always super beautiful and it just really I noticed a difference in my skin. I noticed how it, it turned glowier. I felt like my skin got it got way plumper. I felt those plumping properties in here and I really loved this serum. It did a great job on my skin. I used it at night and again I fell in love with it and how it just made my skin feel really really bright and plump and just I felt the difference. That's what I'm trying to say when it comes to using this serum. It says in here that it's uh, revitalizing sphere infused serum visibly re-energizes skin, smooths stress lines, and renews vibrancy. I really did notice that my skin just felt and looked brighter and it, it felt more alive, <laughs> if you will. But I really fell in love with it. I really want to repurchase this. And that is it, you guys. I'm looking down on my desk and seeing if I missed anything but those were all of the products that I had on my empties bin let me know if you guys like these kinds of videos let me know if you want me to keep collecting empties and showing you what I what I use what I frequent a list of all of my favorites again I feel like this these kinds of videos are a really good representation of my go-tos, my favorites, my the products that I'm religious to that I can't stop buying and it's just a really good overview of what I really enjoy using on the often. Once again, if you want to see which products I'm using in every video, I have been making it a point to list them on my description box below. I will have every single product that I'm wearing in that video right there for you guys to see which products, again, I'm using at that time which products I'm trying out what I'm wearing on my eyes and so on I will have everything listed down there in that description box below for you guys also let me know if you guys have any questions if something wasn't very clear on this video if you have any questions about any of these products or what I'm wearing also you can also leave a comment down below I'll be more than happy to help you out I want to thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much once again for being here and spending some of your time right here with me I hope you're having a wonderful day hope you're having a wonderful holiday happy new year if this video goes up after new year's <laughs> if not i hope you have a wonderful new year celebrate with family hug your loved ones and hopefully this new year just brings peace happiness and tons of joy tons of great things for you much success much love much happiness to you and your loved ones and hopefully i will see you right here on my next video bye guys thank you for watching